Welcome to Chopped Sauce Home Edition. We have our two chefs, Chef Jeanette and Chef Melanie, who are representing their kitchens today. And we've got our esteemed judges, Miss Chloe, Mr. Simeon, and Mr. Ben. And this is Chopped. As you know, the rules of Chopped is that we are going to have four basket ingredients that the chefs have to do for each course. They will do a breakfast, or sorry, a appetizer, an entree, and a dessert from the four ingredients that they will find in the basket. They've had no prep time. They have no clue what is inside the basket. So let's get to it. You may open the basket for the appetizer round. <laughs> All right, so your theme today is berry crispy. All right, berry crispy. So you want to incorporate berries into each of the dishes today that will be in your basket. As well, you wanna have an element of crispiness to your dish. I'm going to set the Google timer. Hey Google, 45 minute timer, please. Speaking of timers, to make sure you're scrubbing up thoroughly, just say, see how I wash my hands. All right, and chefs, you may begin. All right, it looks like we are getting our plating on here as they are waiting for their appetizers to bake. It's looking nice, ladies. Not bad at all. Thank you, thank you. All right, here we are at the end of our first challenge, appetizer. Our theme today is berry crispy, so each of the, uh, meat, uh, each of the courses is going to have some sort of a berry. And here we've got raspberry as the theme for this one. Hey Google, stop. We're at the 45 minute mark, as you can tell. And we have, uh, we have the dishes that are complete for our appetizer round. Chef Melanie and Chef Jeanette, can you please come here? All right, let's start with Chef Jeanette first. Chef Jeanette, can you tell us what is it that you made us? This is it. This um, this is a raspberry crescent with some tiny little jicama um, sort of crispy things with bar dipped in barbecue sauce, um, and then two elements of fruit on the side. Usually, I would squeeze the lemon over this. Usually, huh? You make this off. So, are they supposed to do this? <laughs> are they supposed to squeeze the lemon over top? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Chef Jeanette. Chef Melanie, what is it that you've prepared for us? So for you, I have created a um, a raspberry jicama berry crisp. Um, the crispy part of it is the um, crunchy cereal at the end, and the berry in the middle is a berry and jicama compote with uh, lemon juice and sugar, and that's on top of the um, dough and then also more of the berry jicama compote in the bottom. And there's a little dab of barbecue sauce on the top to add that flavoring um, with some fresh raspberries on the side. All right, so we've got the very similar looking dishes actually. Um, so judges, we are going, Miss Chloe, Miss, Mr. Simeon, we are going to take part. And scene. All right, so we're gonna start with with Miss, we're gonna start with Chef Jeanette. Okay, so Chef Jeanette, we're gonna start with your appetizer. Oh, we're supposed to squeeze the lemon on top, if I remember correctly. May I try? Just a minute. We're filming as the judges are sampling your lovely dinner or uh, appetizer here. So it's interesting. I actually taste the barbecue sauce quite strongly. We do. Um, within this, and I thought, I think it works. Like, did I you squeeze the lemon over it? I did. Um, what do you think, Chloe? Does the barbecue sauce work? Definitely. It's mm, nice yeah. and crunchy. That's good. We've got the crispy. We've got the fruity. We've got the berry. We've got the barbecue sauce. It's 
And of course the crescent. Mm. That was baked in. I thought the jicama crisps were quite good. So now we're going to try Judge or uh, Chef Melanie's uh, creation here. Mm. That's really quite tasty. Mm. All right, Chef Jeanette and Chef Melanie, if you guys can make your way over here, please. Oh, over there. Yes. All right. So, the judges, we have conferred. <laughs> the judges, at, we have conferred. So, when it came to taste, so this is all out of five, correct? So the, the highest points you can get is 20. So out of five, we gave Jeanette four out of five Whoa. in taste, and we gave Mummy five out of five in taste. We felt that Chef Melanie just edged out Chef Jeanette in taste. The cinnamony flavor in the cereal added the nice touch to the, uh, to the appetizer. For the presentation, we gave Chef Jeanette a three and Chef Melanie a five. We felt that Chef Jeanette's pastry could have been a little nicer composed, but we did like the lemon and the way that things are. And then we also felt that the um, that the spread on mm. Chef Melanie's was nicely, um, uh, what's it called? Ground up. Yeah, or pureed. Use of ingredients. Both of you used all of your ingredients, so you both got five out of five. And then ingredients were tasted. We gave Chef Jeanette a five and Chef Melanie a three. Because we could taste all of Chef Jeanette's basket ingredients pretty easily, but we did have a difficult time tasting the barbecue sauce and the jicama in Chef Melanie's, in okay. Chef Melanie's appetizer. So therefore, in the first round, Chef Melanie leads with 18 points and Chef Jeanette is right behind her with 17 Woohoo! <laughs> All right, so Chef, uh, uh, we have our judges, Miss Chloe and Miss Simeon. Mr. We're going to admit, oh, sorry, Miss Chloe and Mr. Simeon. <laughs> We're now going to do round two. This is the entree round. So the basket is filled with the four basket ingredients. And ready, you may open up the basket to take out your ingredients for this round. Very crispy entree. We've got... Fried onions, coconut milk. Can you put them over here? Blueberries and tomatillos. So, what? yes, you've got... You've got tomatillos to work with. What? You've got blueberries as your berry option, coconut milk, oh, and fried thing. onions. Hey Google, okay. set a timer for 45 minutes. Okay, Jesus. 45 minutes, starting now. All right, you may begin. Our chefs are hard at work here, smelling pretty good. Seeing something blueberry-ish being poured into a very nice glass. It looks like we've got some cooking going on here during our uh, entree round. Very, very interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see what comes out of this round. Okay, and it looks like we are starting to get plating here with less than seven minutes left, chefs, to do all of your plating. And with less than three minutes, we have fully plated our entrees, which I think is quite impressive. All right, so Judge Simeon and Judge Chloe, please have a seat. Have my two chefs please approach the judge's table. <clears throat> All right, so here is what we've got from Chef Melanie, and here is what we have from Chef Jeanette. Their basket ingredients, as a reminder, were blueberries, tomatillos, fried onions, and coconut milk. 
So let's start with Chef Melanie. What have you prepared for us? So what I have done for you is I thought, okay, immediately blueberries and tomatillos, I could make a salsa. So I've got a blueberry tomatillo um, red onion salsa with a little bit of coconut milk in it. And then um, what I did is I immediately started marinating the stew meat in coconut milk, also with some garlic and some pepper and salt. And then I fried that um, in a little bit of a thickened sauce uh, with that coconut milk in there. So it's a little bit of a stew dish. And then um, added the uh, fried onions as a garnish. Nice. Chef Jeanette, what have you made for us? Hey Google, stop. So, what I made for you today is on the side a tiny little extra. Um, I made a tiny little salad of bread, sourdough bread, ground beef, avocado, and some egg in there. Okay, let's not touch the food. Then um, there's this little thing of ground beef with some onion on top and tomatillos as just like a little, you know. Then with the coconut and blueberries, I decided to make you guys a little drink. Oh, so it's like a little smoothie that comes along with it. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to start. Let's start with Chef Jeanette's entree of ground beef, tomatillos, and fried onions, a smoothie of blueberry, and a little fun side dish on the side. Mm. I can taste the coconut toast. <laughs> Mm. The coconut. Mm. Uh, okay. Is this like guacamole sauce? Yeah, I think so. Um, I sort of just mashed off of avocados with my hands, but. <laughs> it's egg. Oh. Mm. Here's the egg. I'm going to eat. Huh. So Jeanette took a risk. I'm going to try Chef Melanie's, which you got is a chicken dish. Um, stew, stew meat, actually. Uh, oh, stew meat Beef. cooked in um, coconut milk with a uh, tomatillo and blueberry salsa. All right, let's dig in, chefs. Dig in the dig in. Hmm. Wow, the coconut's actually really good in the meat. Time to taste the meat. Blueberry and tomatillo and red onion and coconut milk. And just red onion. I can tell you like my dish. Here we go. So here we're now going to judge the second round, which was the entree course. The entree needed to consist of blueberries, a blueberry option, tomatillos, fried onions, and coconut milk. So for taste, we gave Chef Jeanette, a five out of five. Woo! We felt that um, the, side, the side that she had, which was sort of impromptu, but ended up working very well in her favor with the egg and the avocado and bread and um, uh, tomatillo, or, uh, or whatever it was, um, that all worked. Yeah, that all worked very well together. We all really liked that, and we loved your drink. Um, we gave Chef Melanie, a three out of five. We really loved Chef Melanie's salsa, but the chewy, chewiness factor of the meat sort of downplayed it, and so there was a lower grade on that. For presentation, we gave Chef Jeanette a four out of five. We liked all the various levels that Chef Jeanette put. Um, so she had like the tall drink, and then she had the little ramekin plus the food on the lower level. Uh, we gave Chef Melanie a 5 out of 5 on her presentation. We thought it looked very beautiful with the way that the salsa was spread. It looked very colorful and very nice. Use of ingredients, you both got 5 out of 5. They were used, even though technically Chef Melanie only used a couple of the dried onions as a garnish. Uh, ingredients were tasted. Chef Jeanette got 5 out of 5. Um, 
we tasted everything in each part, especially because the drink was very flavorful with the coconut milk. With Chef Melanie, we gave her a three out of five as we didn't really have um, the onion in there. Uh, the coconut milk was lost a little bit in the sauce and the onion was so overpowered in the salsa that we didn't really get the taste of the tomatillo in there, although we did very much taste the blueberry. So in this round, Chef Jeanette picks up with 19 points, Chef Melanie with 16 points. So currently, Chef Jeanette is in the lead with 36 points and Chef Melanie is just at 34 points, only two points behind. We are here for our, oh, we are here for our final round, the dessert round. And so we're going to let the chefs open up their basket to see what they are going to be working with. Yay! All Fried right. Chicken. Wait, what? <laughs> Fried chicken. Strawberries. Strawberries as the berry. Chicken. Pound cake. Pound cake. And chocolate chips. We gave white and and uh, chocolate because one of our chefs does not like the taste of brown chocolate, so we did incorporate white chocolate so she could taste her creations if she wants to go the white chocolate route. If she wants to go the brown chocolate route, she can also offer oh, do that as well. Oh, so, so I can do either one of these? You can do either one of those. Uh, so can Chef Melanie. You can choose which color of chip you would like, um, or you can do a combination of both chips. All right, so chefs. Oh, Google? Hey, Google. Please set a timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, starting now. Chefs begin. Our chefs are hard at work in the dessert round. I'm seeing all sorts of stuff happen in here. Lots of ingredients have come out. I see, oh, I see a fondue pot on the burner. It looks like we're gonna have some sort of white chocolate fondue at least. Ooh. And I'm not sure what this is, but we'll see how that turns out. Maybe chicken? Oh, I bet that is processed chicken. Interesting. All right, let's see how this keeps going. All right, we are now at the dessert time. Look at these desserts. My, my, my. I think we're going to be enjoying this, children. I mean, fellow judges. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so here we've got our desserts and we have got our chefs. Let's start with Chef Melanie since her food is plated right in front of us. Can you please tell us what you have made for us tonight? Absolutely. So we have the um, pound cake that is um, ready to be dipped into our white chocolate and fried chicken fondue. Interesting. Um, and then I wanted to use both chocolates, so then I made chocolate dipped strawberries, and those are also ready to go into the fondue. Mm -hmm. um, and underneath, as a little extra bit with the heart and everything, is a bit of chocolate ganache. Wow, very fancy. All yes, right, that, Chef, that no, Chef Jeanette, we need you in here, please. Give me a second. All right, Chef Jeanette, what have you created for us? I have, I have created a waffle with the fried chicken and some chocolate chips inside, pound cake on the side with whipped cream and three blueberries just for that little extra touch. Dig in. And what's the drink? Oh, yes. Milkshake. This was supposed to be strawberry ice cream, but now it's a strawberry milkshake. It's a milkshake with whipped cream and topped with caramel sauce. All right. Enjoy. All right. All right. We are going to start with Chef Melanie's. So let's dig into our into our dessert round. Start digging. All right. So the white chocolate fried chicken fondue. First time ever I've had this. Okay. I can definitely taste the chicken in there. I can definitely taste the white chocolate. Mm. It actually works really well together. Interesting. I would not have ever put those combinations together. Hmm. Huh. What do you think? Strawberry is good. Chef's me. How is the white chocolate fondue? Mm, judge. All right. Judge Simeon. Awesome. Now we're going to try Jeanette's creations. 
Chef Jeanette's creation. So let's go ahead and digging. dig in. I'm going to try this waffle first with the chicken incorporated. I'm just going to eat less chocolate. Less chocolate. I mean, why do you not get chocolate? You can definitely taste the chicken in the waffle. So it's a chicken and a waffle combo. That's interesting, Jeanette. Mm -hmm. Well, if you have if fried chicken, chicken what do you put? A waffle? You can put it in a vanilla or a white chocolate fondue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drink my milkshake. Mm. Mm. I'm just drinking. Let's head to that one. That is very good. All right, so we as judges have deliberated on the final round. Mm -hmm. And so here we had the dessert round, which incorporated strawberries, chocolate chips, pound cake, and fried chicken. And so we had the taste we gave Jeanette a four out of five because the milkshakes were such a big hit with the two younger ones that it um, catapulted her very high. Uh, we gave Chef Melanie a three out of five because the taste of the uh, chicken in the uh, fondue mm -hmm. was very much appreciated by Judge Ben. <laughs> <laughs> But Judge Chloe and Judge Simeon were not as huge a fans of that. Um, for presentation, we gave Chef Jeanette a three out of five. Uh, we felt that the dessert was a little bit much with having a waffle and a piece of pound cake in it. Um, for Chef Melanie, we gave her five out of five because we thought that her presentation was absolutely stunning and very beautiful looking, especially with the little heart that was made out of ganache. Use of ingredients, you both got five out of five. You both used all the ingredients in your basket. Uh, ingredients that were tasted, we gave both of you five out of five. Uh, what we felt though, is that Jeanette could have, Chef Jeanette could have mixed the pound cake into her waffle batter, and then she could have just had the waffle and then decorated it and everything like that. But the milkshake was 100%, like I said, from the two littler ones. So that gave in this round Chef Jeanette 17 points and Chef Melanie 18 points for a grand total of Chef Jeanette at 53 points and Chef Melanie at 52 points. What? So Chef Jeanette won by Dang one it! point. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> and that concludes Chopped Sos Home Edition 2020. Thank you. Both of our contestants did so good. What do you think, Chef Jeanette? Was that a surprise for you? Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to like this because I wanted to make you think that you were going to the and you're like, Jeanette, you know, you're like, what? Um, I was trying to be good. Like <laughs> Congratulations to a well done job for both of you. No. No, 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 you won. You won the ten dollars fair and square. Congratulations to Chef Jeanette. Yay!